here we are in this funny little week between Christmas and New Year, a week during which we often think about our priorities, our future, the year that lies ahead. Hi, I'm Bernie Diamond and welcome again to Fresh. So many of us, it seems, are trying to solve problems in our own lives. This isn't quite right or that isn't quite right. So more often than not, we set about treating the symptoms, trying to make the pain go away, without ever suspecting that there's an underlying disease that needs to be treated. But I believe in God, we might proclaim. Well, that's fine, but let me ask you this. Do you put him first? Because in the answer to that question is either the disease or the cure. It's easy to say, I believe, but the evidence of your belief is in what you do how you live, how you spend your time and your money. That's where the evidence lies. Actions speak louder than words. And the disease that so many so-called Christians are living out is that they profess their faith with their mouths, but they don't live it with their lives. Exodus 34, verse 26. Give the Lord the very first crops that you harvest. Bring them to the house of the Lord your God. Now, there's a great concept hatched there in the Old Testament of first fruits. It means giving God the first and the best from the harvest. Whenever we receive some benefit, some blessing before anything else, the first of it should go to God. Our time, our talents, our finances, doesn't matter what it is, the first bit and the best bit are meant to go to God. And then the rest, well, then the rest becomes a blessing. It's about putting God first. How can we miss that? That's God's word fresh for you today. It's not always that easy to put God first. That's why we need to let his spirit do his work in our hearts. And there's no better way to make that happen than to get yourself into God's word. So if you'd like to go a bit deeper, then let me encourage you to stop by at ChristianityWorks.com and right there on the homepage, you'll see This Week on TV. You can watch this week's half hour television program for some in-depth teaching from God's Word. Again, that website is ChristianityWorks.com.